In networking, there are literally hundreds of protocols to do all sorts of different things. If you want to learn more, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell, and I'll see you on the other side of this. TCP or Transmission Control Protocol is what we call in networking a reliable protocol. By that we mean when I send a packet from my computer to a destination computer, I want to make sure that they, the recipient, gets that packet exactly the way that I sent it. To do that, we implement a mechanism of sequence numbers. So I will send packet one to the destination computer. The destination computer receives that, acknowledges it, checks it to make sure that there's been no corruption in the, in the process, and then sends me an acknowledgement saying, I'm ready for packet two. That way we ensure the integrity of the data going backwards and forwards. UDP or user datagram protocol is a communication protocol as well like TCP but it doesn't have the same overhead as TCP it's not what we call a reliable protocol so it's not really interested in having sequence numbers it's not really interested to know um, I didn't quite get that packet can you resend that packet again to ensure reliability it just sends out uh, packets whether you get them or not it doesn't really care. Its job is to send out packets. So it's really good for things like voice calls, video calls, uh, streaming movies, for example. It doesn't really matter. Think about a security cam, security camera footage, right? You have these security cameras, they're sitting there, they're capturing movement, and they might just be using UDP to get that data out. Whether you miss a frame or not is really irrelevant. By its very nature, TCP is going to be more resource intensive. It's going to have more overhead than UDP. This is because the mechanisms that are built into it to ensure this reliability. So it, it's what we call a stateful connection. It needs to know destination. It needs to know port. It needs to know how fast it can transmit. If something goes wrong, it needs to know, OK, I'm going to request that packet again. So it is more resource intensive. Just think of of a, a a pipe an oil pipe with lots of oil just flowing to it udp is just tapping into that and it's not affecting the, the the flow the flow is just going on and you're just tapping into that and watching or listening into a particular stream so they both in protocols very important they both have their place and on the application layer your your application will determine which of those particular protocols is going to be used when you establish a session with whatever it might be a, a, a video service a webcam service or when you want to send an excel spreadsheet around the world